Bali, Indonesia is a true traveler's paradise. So many people come here and there are hundreds and thousands of blogs and vlogs about what you should do in Bali, but I'm here to tell you what you shouldn't do in Bali, Indonesia. If you know what not to do in Bali, Indonesia, this will make your life so much more easier. When I just arrived here nine months ago, I made so much mistakes and I'm here to prevent you from making the same mistakes. So we're gonna dive in and let's start with number one. Number one is don't do drugs. This is probably one of the most important ones because the Indonesian authorities take the use of drugs very, very seriously, as it should. But if you are caught in drugs possession, you will face the full force of the law. If you were to be convicted of trafficking drugs, then you might not just be looking at a prison sentence, you could also be looking at a death penalty. So just don't do it, stay away from drugs and you will be fine. Then number two is do not step on Kanang Sari. These are little offerings that local people bring to their gods. When stepping out, you will find these little packages of woven palm leaf, flowers and herbs everywhere, even on sidewalks and stairs. Stepping on one can be very offensive to a Balinese who witness your misstep. So just make sure you watch your steps and drive around it or walk around it so you don't step on it. Then number three is do not drive a bike if you're not good at it. The traffic in Bali is absolutely crazy. There are scooters, bicycles everywhere. It's super crowded. They have their own rules here in Bali. And if you are not an experienced driver, don't do it. Take lessons before you do it, but don't step on a bike if you don't have any experience. It's simply too dangerous and you will get in a car or bike accident. Number four is do not get mad when people honk at you. This is what happened to me in my first weeks here in Bali. I was super confused why people were honking at me the entire time. This simply means here like, hey, I'm coming or be careful. I'm coming on your left, I'm coming on your right. It's simply, it's a really kind gesture to do here. They're just saying that they're coming around you or they use it whenever they want to pass someone or if you are unsure if the people have seen you. It's just easy to honk at them. So it doesn't mean that they're angry at you or or you did something wrong. It's just a simple, hey buddy, here I am. Number five is do not piss off the monkeys. I've been in Ubud in Uluwatu and I've seen so many people piss off the monkeys and they got a bite from a monkey, which is super dangerous because you will get rabies and that's simply something you do not want to get. So stay in your own lane, don't provoke them. Also make sure you have your plastic water bottles in your bag because they love to grab it and bite it. That's how they attack you. So just be careful because rabies is something you don't want to get. Number six is do not contribute to the litter problem. There is so much trash here in Bali and it's still a small island. They haven't figured it out completely what to do with the trash. And as you can see, there is lots of trash on the beach and just be very aware of the trash problem that's going on in Bali. So always put your trash into the trash bin and just simply don't throw it on the streets or into nature because that's the worst thing you can do here. Number seven is something that I see happening all the time and number seven is don't be disrespectful. The Balinese people are very sweet and helpful. Unfortunately, this kindness is often mistaken for weakness, which makes tourists think that they're better than the local people and they treat the local people awful. So make sure you don't do this. They are so kind and so sweet and you have to be the same. Number eight is don't barter too much. I know it can be very tempting to lower your price more and more and more. You have to keep in mind that the person you're bargaining with, it's their income. They have to feed their families with that money. They have to feed themselves, they have to pay the rent. So don't overdo it. I know it's very tempting. If you see a beautiful sarong, you want to get it as cheap as possible. Always make sure that it's still in a respectful way that you do it, that you don't go too low. 
number nine is don't use your left hand for giving or accepting things. Throughout Indonesian society, the left hand is used for toilet duties and it's therefore considered unclean. And in Indonesia, it is rude and very offensive to hand someone something with your left hand, especially if it's like food or drinks or shake hands with your left hand. So keep this in mind because I made this mistake in my first eight months of living in Bali. I had no idea. I just figured this out a few weeks ago. So make sure that you don't do this. Then we have number 10, which is don't just eat Western food. This is for me super important because a lot of people around me are just eating Western food. And I know it's super tempting. If you live in Chengdu or in Ubud, there are so many cool Western restaurants with cool vegan food or with Italian food, whatever you can call it. But it is so nice to try the Indonesian local dishes and you support also the local people with this. And it's so nice. This is the food that you need to try in order to have your full Bali Indonesia experience. Another thing you really shouldn't do is come to Bali just for one week. This doesn't make sense at all because this island is so diverse and so beautiful. There is a lot of things to see. The whole island is very different. If you go to West Bali and East Bali or North and South Bali, it is such a huge difference. And one week is simply not enough. So make sure you have at least 10 or 14 days because you will need it. If you are traveling around Bali, don't ignore the Balinese culture. This is very tempting to do because lots of people only go to see beautiful nature, to go to waterfalls or to eat in the most beautiful cafes. But Bali has such a rich culture and it's amazing. I visited the Panglipuan village and this was one of the most authentic experiences I had. And it makes you understand Bali as an island and the Balinese culture so much more. So your Bali trip will be way more special if you include a little bit of Bali cultural. Do not enter temples with your shoes on. It is a custom to not wear shoes when inside. So remember to leave your shoes outside. This is just simply paying your respect and it's an easy thing to do. So make sure you just do this. And then last but not least is don't leave your bag out when you are driving home at night. This is simply super dangerous. I've heard stories that this happened many times. It's easy for thieves to just grab your bag and to drive past you. So make sure you put it under your seat where it's safe. No one can get it. And this is what will prevent you from being robbed. So these were my 15 things you shouldn't do in Bali, Indonesia. I really hope you learned something from this. And I cannot wait for you to come to Bali because it is such a special island. Island. you will absolutely love it i hope you have so much fun and i want to say thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to like and subscribe so you can see more bali tips and adventures and i'll see you in my next one